So Huntington's disease is a, it's a monogenetic disease, meaning it's caused by a mutation in one gene, and this gene has since been called the, the Huntington's gene, Huntington gene. Uh, it was discovered in 1993, um, uh, and that really spearheaded a lot of the research and has accelerated the research that um, is being done today, uh, where we're now focused on trying to silence or lower that mutant gene. So what happens is, uh, Everyone has the Huntington gene in every cell in their body. You and I have it. Um, we're fortunate that we don't have an expanded copy, but in people with Huntington's disease, uh, a little section of that Huntington gene, Huntington gene gets a little too big. And when it gets too big, um, bad things happen. Um, and so what current research is trying to focus on is, is trying to use technologies like antisense oligonucleotides or RNAi, RNAi or RNA interference to uh, lower the levels of that gene so that we can uh, hopefully delay the onset of the disease. So it's interesting because from a scientific perspective, HD is easy. We know exactly what causes it. It's one mutation. But communicating that to the general public, helping people understand the disease, um, how insidious it is really from birth and how it goes through families um, is a challenging story to tell. We talk about HD in its full presentation, so someone who's really symptomatic, being like having Alzheimer's and, Par and Parkinson's and um, Lou Gehrig's disease combined, because it affects every aspect of a person, their ability to communicate, to walk, to talk, to think, to engage socially. Um, so it is, a, it is an all-encompassing and all-stealing condition. But you're right, in its early phases, um, it may just be depression. It may be a little bit of clumsiness, someone who is anxious. And so we have to talk about the, um, the full timeline of the disease. So for most people, um, they don't experience any symptoms until they're uh, in, their, in their 30s, really. And that's when um, stumbling a little bit more, um, being a little more anxious, uh, having a hard time multitasking, things like that begin to eke in. And for somebody who's aware of their risk, it might lead them to a doctor for early symptom management that can keep them productive um, in terms of working and driving and living independently for as long as possible. But for someone who is not aware of the risk, they didn't know it was in their family, um, it's even more crippling because by the time they're symptomatic enough for them to get a definitive HD diagnosis, they've probably lost a lot of the independence that would allow them to really understand how to tackle the disease head on. So it is a complex disease and discrimination um, for those living at risk, but also from the general community is a, is a real um, challenge.